my name is Javid Maus and welcome back to another video. For those who don't know me, I do speedy arts on Photoshop, from landscapes to transforming Minecraft builds into real life builds. If you want to download these and other arts of the channel or support me even more, take a look at the links on the description. Please consider helping me by subscribing to my channel and giving me a like. It's free for you and is worth a lot to me. If you want to send me your drawings or photos too, check the email in the description. Thank you very much and let's go to the first art of today's episode. The first drawing is from Sofia and her brother. Hi, me and my brother made this together. Hopefully you could do something cool with it. Your channel is amazing and I hope to one day be as good as you. Keep up the great work from a huge fan. Thank you very much both of you for sending me this drawing. I already can feel the happiness of me doing this art. Let's go to the speedy art. To be as faithful as possible to the original drawing, in the reshading episodes I usually use the drawing as a base trying to feed the images into it. In this case, because it's a hedgehog, I used a real hedgehog to start my art. What I did is basically use the warp on the parts that I take from the real hedgehog to make the reach the format of the original drawing, at least as close as possible. Use warp is always a little bit trick for me, because it's a lot easier to ruin the image, making the rest of the art a complete sheet. As you can see, some parts that I made so far in fact are sheet, especially the head. So I start to take other parts of the real hedgehog and put to my art, using exposure to make the colors match each other. I think it's pretty good so far. Because I'm a little bit lazy sometimes, I just use the same leg for the four legs of my art, but I think it's looking good, especially with the gun. In the other hand, put the jacket was a little bit tricky, because as I said before, me using warp is always dangerous, but the head was still bothering me a lot, especially the muzzle, so I decided to put more fur on the head and use liquify on the muzzle to make it bigger, reaching a format more similar to the original. Then, when I finally get satisfied with the jacket and the head, I start to correct the colors of my art, make it match with the colors of the original drawing. It was easier than I thought it would be, minus the color of the body, but I think I got a very similar color. I continue to correct some parts and I start to put the gap gaps, I mean the camera and the colorful bottoms. The most difficult part of this art to me was to fit the mouth on it, because this don't exist in the real world, it was hard to imagine how a real mouth similar to a human mouth would fit in this hedgehog. After some tries, guess what, I use the warp again and I think I got a good result. Not perfect, but good enough. The bullet image that I got to this image was pretty bad, so I used color range to cut off some parts, making it a little bit better. Know how to use color range to select parts of an art, as you can see, is very useful. I don't know if all of you saw my post about these art shorts, showing some tips for drawing and Photoshop. If you want me to show how to use color range to select things or any other tool on Photoshop, please leave in the comments. Back into the art, I started to make the scenario. For this hedgehog, I thought in a cyberpunk city. Don't ask me why. For now on, I just use match color to make the images match each other, make my edit a lot easier. So I will leave you with a nice background music and with the rest of the spear. I hope you like it. As you can see, I changed the position of the drawing a little bit to fit with the scene that I create. That is, the hedgehog is fighting with unknown enemies in this decay and futuristic city. Hope you don't mind, and I make two versions of it. One more greenish and one more purplish. Tell me on the comments what is the better version for you. And let's go to the second drawing of today. The second drawing of today is not a drawing, but a photo of a cute dog sent by Magic Pickle. Hello, this is my dog. Lucy, can you draw her doing something fun like at a carnival or something like that? Take any creative liberties you want. Thank you, Magic Pickle. So, sorry for it, I couldn't do a draw with she on a party, cause from the photos it will be really hard. But thank you so much for sending me this photo and I hope that you at least like of what I did. Let's go to the speedy art. For this art I want to create a winter scene, 
and for this I started to make a wooden house interior using some wood textures that I found on the internet and I used perspective and started to make it a little less flat, giving an impression of depth. When I got happy with the base of my interior, I started to put things like the window and some furniture to make the scenario more complete. For the start, I put an armchair, a fireplace and a carpet. I struggled a little bit with the scale of the objects, but I think I got it right. On the window, I cut off the middle and placed a new one, because the old one was open and for this window scene, an open window didn't make sense, and I put a nice winter landscape outside the house. Then I finally put Lucy in the scene. The initial idea was to put her on the carpet, but for me put her on the couch make the art more cousin. Guys, from now on I use exposure to make all the image darker and with the layer masks I start to make the highlights. Then I use color balance to give a warm mood to the interior of the house and hue and saturation to make some highlights. I don't want to explain all this in this video because maybe this is too confusing and repetitive. So if you want a short tutorial of any of these tools that I mentioned, please leave in the comment. Now enjoy the song and the rest of this video. This is the end result, Magic Pico, sorry for this not be the art you wanted, I don't have the skill yet, but I really hope you like it. It's been a while since I created scenarios using mainly textures, I'm proud of myself. <laughs> and that was today's video, I really hope you like it, if you wanna send me your drawings or photos too, please check the email in the description. If you want to download this and other arts of the channel or support me even more, take a look at the links on the description. Please consider helping me by subscribing to my channel and giving me a like. It's free for you and it's worth a lot to me. Thank you very much for watching, my name is John the Mouse and I see you soon.